YAML made it simple. Today we are going to look at the Google interview question. This question is a medium question and it is asked in April 2020. We will take notes so that we don't miss out any edge cases. We will also take a look at the table so that we'll have clear understanding of what to expect. Find the number of emails received by each user. Under each built-in email label, we'll take notes. Number of emails received. Received by each user is nothing but two user. Two user is the one who will receive the emails, whereas from user will send an email. Under each built-in email label, the email labels are promotion, social, shopping. From the wordings, we can understand these are nothing but uh, the promotion tab, social tab, and different tabs in our Gmail account that we usually see. Output the user along with the number of promotion, social, shopping, mail counts. Let's take a look at the table. This table contains label information. The label in information is attached to email ID and the email ID is coming from this ID column. So the ID column and this email ID column looks similar. So these two will be used to merge the two tables together. And they are interested in four columns. The output is four column. User along with number of promotions. That is the count of promotions, count of social, and count of shopping mail counts. Each user who have received the emails. That is two user. So we are interested in four columns. So the first column that we are interested in is two user. And we have to join it based on labels in order to extract the information about the label. So let's join that. Uh, let's alias it as E since it's email and join the other table. Let's name it as L since it's labels on based on e dot id since we have discussed id column and email column matches each other so and we are interested in three more columns so how can we do that we can make use of the when case when since we need each and everything in a different column rather than in a row, we can make use of this case when. There is one confusion here that is these characters are mixed characters, mixed format. Yes, can be capital and whole of the words can be cap capital. In order to avoid this confusion, we can make use of the lower case function. Lower will turn everything into lowercase. And then we have to check it against our three criteria, that is promotion, social, and shopping. So first one will take just the promotion. Uh, since we have lowercase it, we will turn P to lowercase. And if this is the case, then we have to output zero, sorry, one, else, we can output zero. We are going to count each and every value so we can do some of this. That will result as with the promotion count. I'm just aliasing it as, as promotion count. I forgot the end. So let's copy paste the same thing 
and we'll change the label name to promotion to social and shopping and we have to consider this that is received by each user so we have to group by each user each user is nothing but two user let's run the code and that's our output let's check if it is working properly and there you go it runs thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope you like it please subscribe that supports this channel a lot and that will encourage me to do more thank you thank you so much for watching